today and welcome to Aussie Vision. We've just seen Norway's Melody Grand Prix happen for 2023 and we had a winner. It was Alessandra Cooper, wasn't it? Now you've been watching it, you've been covering Norway for the last few weeks. Was it a surprise winner? What did you think of Alessandra taking out the crown? Well, if you asked me about four weeks ago when we all started this that she was going to win, I would probably say not, but it has gone insane since semi-final one. So it's kind of been building till tonight and it was pretty much a front runner to win. Yeah, because, I mean, it's kind of gone viral, right? Like she's <laughs> been in the viral charts in America and all over Europe. Yep. But it's also an amazing performance. Like I loved it from the start. But yeah, I think... She's been very popular. That was a massive tally vote score. Was it like 179 and then Ulrika was on 78 or something? Yeah, she pretty much got 100 points more than second place. It was insane. That is incredible. Um, what did you think of her performance tonight compared to like the semifinal? I think it was much better on the biggest stage. Um, I don't know if it was, but for me, it felt a little bit brighter. You could see what was happening. That was my kind of my only concern in semifinal one. It was very dark. She was just in the shadows. But yeah, they brightened it up. It looked better on a bigger stage, I think. Um, and, and vocally, I think she was pretty good. There was like maybe once that I was like, oh, but yeah, the rest of it, oh, I was, it was a really good package. Yeah, I felt like she was a little bit better vocally in the semi, but she was almost giving more this one. Mm. I think she almost got a bit too overexcited. It was just that one first big, no, not the big high one. She nailed no. that. But I think she'll be fine. I think it was like a big occasion. And um, I think this is a good entry for Eurovision. Yeah, like what do you think about the fact that it's so big already a yeah. few months out from May. Do you think that's going to like detract as it goes on or is it a good thing going to Eurovision with such a popular mainstream song? Yeah, that was one of the things I was thinking about during the show. I was like, this song, we haven't really seen many songs in Eurovision be this big this early. Like it's mm. already number two on the viral global charts. Like that's massive. Um, so we'll see that if this song will age well, Um But for it to also win jury and televote together, I think it's pretty safe to say it's going to do decently well in Liverpool. All right. Well, let's talk about Ulrika because, I mean, it was a little bit sad. I did feel bad for her as well. Like, you know, she obviously didn't get to go in 2020. Um, She came second in the public vote, uh, only third with the juries overall. Uh, Thoughts on where she finished and how she went tonight? Yeah, look, I always thought she would come second to Alessandra in the televote, but I thought in the juries they would have given her a bit more love. It mm. is definitely a more jury-appealing Eurovision song. You've got your high notes, you've got the kind of tick, ticking the boxes for a jury vote. Um, but, yeah, it was a bit low, I thought, for what it was. But also yeah. in saying that, Adelaide got second. He was a jury song. Alessandra might have been my only real surprise in the jury. Yeah, I think... Um... I guess the song may have let her down just because we all knew it was a little bit dated, right? <laughs> so maybe that's where the jury's punished it a little bit. Uh, Cause I think she did well tonight again in her performance or again, it looked really great. It looked good on the big stage. There was a big, you know, story about, um, you know, her missing out. So obviously that helped with the telly, but obviously could stop the train of Alessandra. And Atla Peterson, obviously he um, did well second in the jury, not so well in the public though. No, where did he end up finishing? I think it was, what, fifth, fourth or fifth? Um, yeah, that public vote really did kind of tank him there. I kind of expected it, though. It was a, I would say, a typical Scandinavian entry. It was nice, clean. It was a nice song. It was pretty much the worst way to describe it. Yeah, he did finish third overall, but he mm. did finish second last in the okay. public vote. So that's a bit of a surprise. Now, look, the rest of it, were they were pretty far away and kind of all bunched up together. Um, Elsie Bay fourth, Yona fifth. Any kind of um, ones from the pack that are worth um, pointing out here, you think? Yeah, I think Yona, I would have thought he would have gotten a little bit more from the um, public vote there. It was mm. what I thought maybe the underdog winner of today could have been. Um, but yeah, I just think that was a bit low, but the rest of them, it kind of pretty much fits prohibition being low in jury, but high in televote. Um, yeah, pretty expected. Exactly. I totally think everyone who was going to do well with the tally, Skrillex, uh, uh, swing it, did it and not so well with the jury. And then the other way around for like a lean Thorpe, not doing Mm. so well with the public, but I agree with you. Yona was, um, the surprise to me. I expected much more tally vote, uh, for him, but overall, I have to say that was a great national final. Some of those songs that were midfield could take out many other national finals across Mm -hmm. Europe. So it feels like noise come back with a bang. I mean, did they make the right choice in this format compared to the head to heads? 
Oh, I think it was much more entertaining. It was a bit shorter, which is nicer. We didn't need seven weeks of <laughs> Norwegian songs. Um, but yeah, it was one of the best in a few years, pretty much. It was song after song. They were all pretty good. And they were the ones eliminated too, they could have been great entries for other countries. They would have been desperate to have. Yeah, all up a great, I think a, a wonderful Melody Grand Prix, a return to, I love the semi-final, final format, return to the big stadium, some great songs. Um, They've done a good job, like Melfest, you better bring it because Norway <laughs> might outdo you this year. All right, well, look, thanks, Cooper, for the last few weeks of covering Norway and, um, you know, hopefully you're happy with the Alessandra winning over Ulrika. Yeah, it was good. It was a good show. I'm happy with the result and I think she'll do well for Norway in Liverpool. All right. Well, I'll catch you all later and thanks for joining us. See ya. Bye.